In this video, you learn how to place pile caps and configure your own custom pile caps. Revit has two types of families to represent pile caps and piles. One of the families has the piles integrated within the family, and the other has the piles nested. It's recommended that you use the nested piles as these can be scheduled and tagged accordingly. In the image on the right hand side, you can see that the pile cap hyphen three pile and pile cap hyphen four pile are the ones that contain nested piles. So these are the ones that should be used within your Revit project. Go ahead and open up project A. The project opens in the 3D view. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at the placement of pile caps along with nested piles. We'll also look at the orientation of those pile caps in relation to columns and also we'll create our own custom type of pile cap and pile. We'll first begin by extending all of the concrete columns down to the top of foundation level. Previously, in the last video, I just selected some circular hollow sections as columns and I manually pulled those down. In this example, we're going to use a graphical column schedule to select the columns on the ground floor and project those down to the top of foundation. To do this, we'll select the view ribbon and on the view ribbon, you'll note here in the create panel, we have schedules. Here, I'm going to use graphical column schedule. The graphical column schedule is live. So what I'm going to do here is change the detail level to fine. And I can now clearly see all of my columns spanning from the ground floor to the first floor. So I can make a selection set of all of these columns in here. I can then go into the properties palette and set the base level for top of foundation. Again, this is also a very useful method of seeing where the columns start and end. OK, so now that we've done that, we can now go ahead into the structural plane and open up negative zero one top of foundation. We can now see all of our columns in plan here. Now to see these in relation to the ground floor plan, what we can do is we can set up an underlay. In the properties palette, you'll notice here we have an area for underlay and currently we don't have any underlay base level set. Let's set this to ground. And you can now see that ghosted out, we can see a projection of the ground floor plan. This will help us orientate our structural foundations. So let's begin by placing out some four pile pile caps. To do this, we'll select the structure ribbon. And on the structure ribbon, you'll note here we have isolated foundation. If I select isolated foundation, you can see that we have our previous pad foundation that we created in the previous video. In this example, we're now going to go ahead and load in some new families from the UK library. So on the context ribbon, go ahead and select load family. In the UK library, let's go ahead and browse to the structural foundations folder. And in the structural foundations folder, you can see here we have a number of references relating to pile caps. These ones here are the pile caps with rebates to take the piles. These ones here are the ones that have nested piles. So where you see something like pile cap hyphen two pile, pile cap hyphen three pile, these are the ones we want to use. Now in this example here, what I'm going to do is make a multiple selection. So I'm holding down a control key and I'm going to select pile cap hyphen two pile, pile cap hyphen three pile and pile cap hyphen four pile. We'll select open. And here, as we stated earlier, the piles are nested into the pile cap, so they're shared families. So in this example here, we're going to use the existing subcomponent family. So essentially, we haven't made any changes to the piles. So let's begin by placing out the pile cap hyphen four pile. To do this in the properties palette, we'll change this from three pile to the pile cap four pile. Now currently here, you can see that we have a size of 2000 by 2000 by 900. What we're going to do also is address the actual diameter of the pile that we want to use. So let's select edit to type. And here I'm going to duplicate this pile cap. For the dimensions, I'm going to set these to 1800 by 1800 by 900. And we'll click OK. The dimensions now go in here. So we can type in 1800 for the width, 1800 for the length. And of course here you can see the foundation thickness is currently 900 but notice here we have our pile type now this is a pull down menu and this is just referencing in the different types of pile that we've got loaded into this project currently you can see i've only got two types the 400 and 500 diameter we'll take a look at this a bit later on but for the minute let's just select the 400 millimeter diameter one we'll click ok and you can now see we have our new type loaded in I'm going to begin by placing out these four pile pile caps along grid B. 
The quickest way to do this is to come up to the ribbon here and use at columns. We'll then make a selection set of the four columns and you can now see the pile caps are placed and we can finalize that by selecting finish. We'll do a similar thing here. So we'll select at columns and I'll select these two column positions here and also this column position over here and this one over here. And again, we'll finalize that by selecting finish. We'll now focus in on placing our pile cap three pile. So to do this in the properties palette in the type selector, we'll change this now to pile cap hyphen three pile. I can use the space bar here to orientate the pile cap. And now we'll start to place out this pile cap here. So I'll begin by placing this on grid A2, and then we'll go to A3, A4, and so on. And we'll place another one over here. I'll press the space bar just again to orientate this pile cap. And we have one more over here. And then I'll press the space bar again, and we'll place out the remaining four uh, triangular pile caps down on this bottom grid E. The rest of the columns are going to be supported by a pile cap two pile. So again, in the properties palette, in the type selector, we'll select pile cap hyphen two pile. And now we can go ahead and place these at columns. Again, here I hold the control key down and pick this column position over here. And again, if I wanted to, I could use the space bar now to orientate all of those pile caps simultaneously. So this is the orientation we require. And again, we can finalize this by selecting the green tick. So let's now take a look at this in the 3D view. So we'll switch here to the 3D tab and we'll orbit around the model and we can now see all of our pile caps placed out. Now what we do need to address here is the concrete material that the pile caps are using. First, I'll exit the isolated foundation command by selecting modify. I'll then make a selection set of all of my pile caps. So this should be it's fairly simple to do. We can just get the model like this and take a selection of all of those pile cap families in there. Again, if you don't quite get those, you could use a crossing window like so. In the properties palette, you'll note here that multiple families are selected. Well, that's true because obviously we have lots of different types of pile cap and pile families. But what I can do here is go to the structural material instance parameter. And again, we'd associate this to our global parameter, which was the C40 concrete. Okay, and we can now see all of our pile caps are using the correct grade of concrete. Okay, so let's make sure that we've actually saved our project. So we'll go to the quick access toolbar and click save. And that concludes this video.